announcement you've all been waiting for, the Magical Reality Chamber is working again. We can finally resume our midterm exam. Half of you will take it today, and the rest will go tomorrow. Now, I don't think I need to remind you, but this is the most important test of the year. It will count as half of your final grade. I hope you're all ready. I double, triple hope I don't have to go today. I'm so nervous, I can't even <sighs> connect with my wings. Let's see. Princess Stella is first on the list. Looks like she's absent again. Did anyone see her this morning? I did. She wasn't feeling well. She said she switched her perfume with a cat potion. She ate a fur ball. Please tell her I expect her to take the test first thing tomorrow. She has to pass this test. Her grades in this class are already quite low. Next up would be Flora. All right, remember, magical reality is not make-believe. And now the chamber will randomly select a dead planet. Excuse me, Professor, but I don't believe there is such thing as a dead planet. You know? Uh, what do you mean? I prefer to think of them as planets that are in need. They just need love. That is very interesting. But perhaps you should save it for philosophy class. This is a survival test. I suggest you focus on surviving. All righty, here we go. Hi. Hello there. So, what's wrong? Just wanted to check on my friend, Princess Stella, the freshman with the furball. Uh, is she feeling any better? No princesses today, just two sophomores. They claim they got into a fight with a brain sucker. That story always pops up around midterms. Hey, guess where I just went? The nurse's hmm? office. It turns out that Stella was never even there. She totally lied to us. She's got to be hiding out, avoiding the exam, right? Well, we should tell her it wasn't that difficult. I passed it without much trouble at all. Yeah, you studied. Stella hasn't. Then she should be hiding out because the magical reality test requires real skills. That's so true. You know what? She needs a magical reality check. I'm not leaving her room until she's learned every move, spell, and potion by heart. Hmm. Stella, we need to talk. Are you looking for moi? Huh? Honest, like this haircut. You lied to us about being sick. Ever had an oil treatment bloom? It's like a facial for your hair. Are you listening to me? You lied to us and you skipped the test. You're failing this class, you know. Apologies for the white lie. However, I had to miss the test. I had something far more important to do. And what could that be? There's no way that a beauty pageant is more important than school. I knew you'd say that. That's why I couldn't tell you. I just don't get it. I was the first runner-up last year. This year, the crown is meant to be mine. It's illogical. Why would you want to be a part of something where all that matters is how you look? It's not just about looks. It's about grace. And personality. And talent. Bloom, I really need your uh, help with this. This is important to me. Oh, it's what I'm best at. I guess it's like that song my dad wrote. Your passion is your mission. I'm beginning to see there's some logic here. Hmm. Hmm? Okay, since this means so much to you. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> the pageant is tonight, so we only have a few hours. Musa, uh, you can do my hair and makeup. Techna, you, you have to promise us to study for the test once this fashion parade is over. Yeah. If you don't pass this class, Stella, they could kick you out. Done deal! As Miss Magics, I will study like you've never seen me study before! You want to be Miss Magics? I just don't get it. What's so appealing about walking around a stage in a swimsuit? Besides, you know they would never ever pick a witch to be the beauty queen of Magics. Why go through that? <sighs> magics is gonna have their first witch queen, cause I'm gonna win. Icy said that she's going to help me. She said that when she's through with me, I'll be the most beautiful girl in all of Magics. I'm gonna get that crown, and everything's gonna change around here. I see Darcy and Stormy will like me and finally let me be one of them. And then I'm gonna be popular, so popular. Hmm. All I want is to see what it feels like, even if it only lasts for one day. You get it? No, I don't. Ugh. You're just jealous of me, because I'm going to be Miss Magics, and because I'm going to be all that! 
Whoa. An arena packed with beauty queens. I'm kind of scared to go in there. Roll back those shoulders and let's make an entrance. Big smiles, girls. Let's psych out those wannabes. I see. This is not the demonology convention. And those perky girls with the hair rollers were definitely not witches. Why did you lie to us? I had to get you here. It's a beauty pageant. We're here to help someone. Who? Ooh. Lucy the Loser. She wants to be Miss Magics. Hmm. Does she really think she can win? <laughs> yeah, it's a beauty contest, not a freak <laughs> show. That's true. But I'm gonna cast a spell. But why help her? So she can defeat a certain fairy. Oh, let me guess. Is it Miss Solaria? Stella, it is. Winning this pageant is her biggest dream. She thinks she's so cool and pretty. Well, we're gonna burst her bubble. Also, get this, in exchange for our help, Loser Lucy will do all our homework in all subjects for the rest of the year. It'll be a double witch-up. With one spell, we cause two freshmen to lose, and we win. You are. So brilliant. Oh yeah, you are twice as cool as Ice Weach. Now, we're gonna need some major conjuring, if we're gonna have a hope of making Miss Homely pretty enough to shatter Stella's dream. You like this? Yeah, it's really cute. Perfect for the fitness competition. Stella. What do you have there? A fresh botanical beauty booster. And an out-of-this-realm tune. It's so hot, it'll make your eyelashes curl. This will maximize your natural beauty, but it might sting a little. Red Mod! You're talking to a girl with many years of pluck and groom experience. So, please tell us, Miss Talaria, what's the first thing you would do if you were crowned Miss Magic? Help underprivileged princesses ever! <laughs> You still have your looks. What happened to your voice? <laughs> she cast a spell. I got it wrong! I said voice instead of choice! Oh, maybe it's not oh. that bad! Oh, that's <laughs> awful! Mm. <laughs> I didn't mean that! I'm really sorry! Oh. Maybe the judges won't notice! It's really not that bad! <laughs> I thought roosters only crowed in the morning. <laughs> what are they doing here? Welcome to the Miss Magic's pageant, sponsored by Merlin's Magic Cosmetics. These young ladies will compete for the grand prize, a lifetime supply of Merlin's potions and lotions. We have one main rule. No magic, no charms, no spells, no incantations, no conjurations, no invocations, and no metamorphosis. Miss Magics will be chosen for her natural beauty. That means natural, not supernatural. And now our contestants <sighs> from near and far. You can see they don't need magic. They inspire magic. Oh, look, here's Miss Narcissia. She's last year's Miss Congeniality. And also returning last year's first runner-up, Miss Alaria. Miss Statuesquia is here. Look at that height. And also welcome from a realm far away, Miss Popularis. Who would have thought it even possible? <laughs> These young ladies are not only the most beautiful in their realms, but they're also super talented. And in just a few moments, they will share their talents with us. Miss Popularis wasn't on the list I requested. Huh. Something's off. Maybe she signed up late. Did you see how much the crowd loved her? Hey, mm. are you having a nice time? <laughs> hmm? Whoa, she can't be from Popularis. They're all friendly. Something's definitely off. Who could forget last year's acapella singing, ice skating, miming, and tongue twisters? Let's see what happens this year in our exciting talent contest. Our first contestant hails from a realm that claims to be at the center of the universe. Miss Narcissia! Get ready. She will present a symphony of gymnastics. Hey, every performance needs a grand finale. I'll take care of it, and it will be grand indeed. Uh, our next contestant is Miss Aquaria. 
She comes from an underwater realm, and she's never walked on solid ground before tonight! She can walk. Let's see if she can skate. I guess not. <laughs> well, that was a good try. Let's move on. Our next contestant, Miss Flexia. She's a master juggler. Let's move on to our next contestant, Miss Popularis. Hope she enjoys this. She'll be paying for it all year. <laughs> Her realm is famous for its gracious and well-mannered folk and their regional dance, Hair Ballet! Little do they know, she's really Miss Outcastus. <sighs> now that's what I call talent, ladies and gentlemen! What a treat! Bravo! And now, our final contestant tonight, Miss Solaria! Performing the dance of the Great Western Moon of Solaria! I love her. I'm not gonna let her two-step her way to the crown. What a great dance! <laughs> and now, there's one thing everyone wants to know. Miss Solaria, what would you do if you won Miss Magics? Uh, we're fat as it says in their snow bear for Huh? Uh, amazing! She can speak backwards! <laughs> she said she'd help underprivileged princesses. What a multi talented young girl! <laughs> and that concludes our talent contest. We can all agree that this year's pageant has been uh, quite special. How about a big round of applause for our contestants? And now, finally, the moment we've been waiting for. And this year's Miss Magics is... Miss Popularis! Something's not right. I bet she's using magic. Hmm. If there's magic here, remove it now. Show us what's real when she takes a bow. Mm -hmm. uh, huh? <gasps> <gasps> She's an imposter! <laughs> Miss Popularis is disqualified! Oh well, she's still doing our homework. As a result, the title of Miss Magics goes to contestant number six, Stella, Princess of Solaria! <laughs> Here she is, our new queen! And the new spokesmodel for Merlin's Magic Cosmetics! <laughs> Thanks! City of Magics, I promise to make you proud! That was pretty awesome! She did it all right! <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank the little people, Bloom, Tecna, Flora, Musa. I couldn't have done it without you! I say we celebrate with manicures and milkshakes! Ahem. <coughs> Ahem. Ahem. Huh? Um, Bloom, did you lose your voice? Did you lose your memory? Huh? Remember our deal? We can't celebrate. Come on. If you don't get home and study, you'll fail the test. So far, 
two students have failed the magical reality test. I certainly hope that doesn't happen to anyone today. Stella, you're here. Why don't we begin with you? Why don't we? I do hope you have prepared for this. I couldn't be readier, Professor. Oh, very good. As you know, the chamber will randomly select a dead planet. And you do your best to survive. Hmm. Hey, I'm not just here to survive, little dead planet. As the new Miss Magics, I'm here to save you. I brought the perfect potion. A few drops? Or maybe the whole bottle? If more is more, then this will give you a lawn worthy of a beauty queen. <laughs> All the other planets will envy you. Luvia. You know, I think this lawn is going to look just great. There's just one missing ingredient. Sunshine! Wow! It's working! Huh? Huh? Stop! Stop growing! Ah! Oh. Stella! What happened? I might have overdone it with the potion. Your strategy was promising, I can tell you studied. It's a shame it ended like that. It's a shame? The chamber will take your entire performance into consideration and then assign you either a pass or a fail. Here it is. You passed. <gasps> oh, you did it. What do you say we go celebrate? Huh? Count me in. So, manicures and milkshakes? Ha <laughs> <laughs>